שלום, בלווי. שבת שלום. I want to talk about patience. It's a powerful, powerful thing. Patience. I'm putting the definition up. What is patience? The ability to wait or to continue doing something despite difficulties or to suffer without complaining or becoming annoyed. Patience. <clears throat> Many times we find ourselves in situations that call for patience. And many of us have good patience. Many of us pray for patience. But patience has revelations in it. When we are put in situations that force us to have patience. It's easy to have patience with things that we want that don't disturb us. But. To be patient in situations where difficulties come, suffering comes, that's a whole nother level of patience. Not only does it reveal things about others, it reveals things about ourselves that we didn't even know were there. Right now, because I moved into a fixer-upper, it took us years to try to get certain things fixed and done in our home. And in the midst of having things torn out, uh, I had a neighbor who just came up, came up screaming and cursing at me first thing in the morning because of trucks coming. Patience. Um You know, in the middle of this, one of the things that we also recognize about patience, or at least I did, is the grace of God, the grace of Yah. Because a lot of times situations will present themselves, people will present themselves, and we don't even see it coming. We're just moving along, trying to do whatever it is we're doing, and We recognize the grace of the most high that comes down on us and keeps us in the middle of difficult situations where we know it's not us. We know it because we know our past behaviors. We know our normal responses to a lot of things. And that patience That's a powerful piece of business. That patience not only makes us be patient with others and with situations, it forces us to be patient with ourselves. It has layers. It, it, it has revelation in it in the regard that we see things that we've grown in that we didn't even know we grew in. We see other things that we need to grow in. It, it has revelation on it. A lot of times it's a funny statement. Lord, could you hurry up and give me some patience? <laughs> But sometimes when we're in the middle of a difficult situation and we don't know why it's so prolonged, why all these things are happening, we're in the middle of a growing season. There are certain things that gotta, they have to be rooted out of us. There are certain understandings we need about other people. And the only way that we truly can grow is by being put in a situation where we have to use patience. Patience that is beyond our understanding. That's when you know the most high is in it. Because we know what our normal reactions would be. We get upset. It's prolonged. It's, it's a furnace situation, but that patience, the ability to wait or continue doing something despite afflictions or to suffer without complaining or becoming annoyed. Getting this work done, 
everything tore out. Early in the morning, it's in the peaceful quiet of the morning. I'm moving my cars to let these trucks come in. In the middle of dust and all that goes with people doing work on your house. And now comes this woman screaming and cursing to the top of her lungs. I'm getting out of the car. Actually, I didn't even know what she was talking about at first. But that grace that comes from on high, it's a grace. He, he covers us in the shadow of his wings. And at the same time, it's revelatory. It, it gives us revelations, not just about the other person, about ourselves, about the most high, about his merciful graciousness towards us. It shows us growth when we didn't even know we were growing. Because yes, under certain conditions, my responses would have been different. But I was so caught up that I did not respond the way many people would have thought I would have responded. Later on, I see the woman and she's all sheepish and uh, uh, don't know where to look. And I'm thinking, you reveal something about yourself. You had the ability to talk. I mean, but there's nothing I can do until this work is done. It needed to be done. And as adults, I would have thought she, she could have spoken to me instead of screaming and hollering in the middle of the street early in the morning, seven o'clock in the morning. But that revelation, I was in the midst of trying to be patient while this was going on. I was so gone in my mind, like, Lord, keep me in the midst of this, that I never saw that coming. And that's normally where that patience comes in. The ability to wait or to continue doing something despite difficulties or to suffer without complaining or becoming annoyed. That, that, that definition right there, I'm, I'm walking it and many of us are walking it. But there is a grace that comes from the most high. He covers us in his mighty wings to keep us from being mentally distracted, to keep us from being pulled into negativity that really has nothing to do with us. The same woman screaming and cursing in the middle of the street early in the morning. Suddenly for the next two days is all sheepish and looking. And I'm thinking, I'm not tuning in. I, there's more than enough on my plate. I'll tell you something else. And this is definitely what ran through my mind. All of us in the midst. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood. But against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. You have a lot of people that are under demonic possession. I remember looking at the woman. It's like you got a demon in you. I mean, ranting and screaming and hollering. It was so peaceful out there that morning. And just screaming and yelling shockingly. But the grace of God showed up. The grace of the most high came in. I know it was his grace. Many of us right now are in those fiery furnaces, beloved. And it calls for patience. There are seasons that are coming upon us. That if we had anything to do with it, we want it to happen quickly. Come on, Lord, please, please, please. But you see, there's another thing. To everything, there is a season. Yes, it is. And a time to every purpose under heaven. There are seasons in our lives that he has to take us higher. That glory, the glory, a lot of times... It's through events, it's through circumstances we have no control over. Sometimes even getting control of ourselves many times, okay? There truly is a time to break down and a time to build up. I found it ironic. 
in the middle of everything being broken down, as we see in chapter three, verse three, a time to break down. All the old was being pulled out of my physical house in the kitchen. There's just a bare room. I'm in the midst of waiting for the time to build up. And in the midst of waiting for that time to build up, and in the midst of waiting for that time to build up, I'm recognizing how many things, many of us recognize how many things that need to be broken down in our lives in order to build up old attitudes, old situations, old friendships that we think were friendships. A time to break down. I'm watching rooms be gutted. One room just gutted. But what I recognize, what he gave me that insight into, and it happens with many of us, in order to truly clean up, there has to be a breakdown, a throwing away, a removal of things that no longer serve a good purpose. They don't serve a good purpose. But during that time to break down, Mm. During the time to break down, what do we need is called patience, beloved. And see, during that breaking down, there are things we can want to see removed. We're glad to see them removed, but they still create difficulties in our lives. The ability to wait. Woo. Mm, mm, mm. Listen. We're waiting for the end of the matter with Babylon. We're waiting for the end of the matter with difficulties in our lives, with difficulties with people, difficulties with situations, difficulties with ourselves. The ability to wait or to continue doing something despite difficulties. Here come the soldier now. Here come the soldier. See, Mm-mm-mm. let me tell you, when we wrestle in these, these, it's spiritual warfare, beloved. The ability to wait. When you're waiting to get to the other side, when you're waiting for that victory, when you're waiting for that breakthrough, mm, mm, woo, come on now. The ability to wait, let me tell you, it's not always easy to wait. In that fiery furnace, sometimes there are people that keep turning up the heat on the situation as though it weren't difficult. Enough. If you remember Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, they were throwing, they were making the fire hotter as though being in the fire wasn't bad enough. But you see, there are people, there are situations, there are determinations beyond ourselves that don't understand or don't care. The fire alone is flaming. But they want to throw some logs in there. They adding kerosene, gasoline, nitroglycerin. Yes, my loved, my beloved. But what are we doing? The Lord gives us a word: patience. Mm, mm, mm. Patience, Father. Patience, patience, Master, Master, Master. Don't you see? The flames are raising higher. Patience, the ability to wait or to continue doing something despite difficulties. The Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego in our lives, the the fiery furnace to suffer without complaining or becoming annoyed. You know, in the Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego situation, praying, the brothers, and they were from the tribe of Judah, But it doesn't matter what tribe they were from. They were from the house of Yashorel. They were unmoved. They were not going to surrender whether they lived or whether they died. They weren't going to give up that fight. That whether our father comes in now or takes us home, we are not going to bow down to a situation that's unholy and that opposes the most high. We are not. We're going to give him honor and glory until the end. Like Job, 
when he lost everything. Naked I came into this world and naked shall I go out all praise, honor, and glory to the Lord. The Lord giveth and the Lord taketh away. Mm, mm, mm. There is a season, beloved, when there is a time to tear down and a time to build up. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego went into that fiery furnace with one mindset, but trust and believe when the grace and the mercy of the Lord came in. They understood there is a fire of truth from the Most High that can put out the fire of man and cool those flames where they have no effect. Beloved, mm, what do we have? Patience. The ability to wait or to continue doing something despite difficulties or to suffer without complaining. Now, oh, Lord, help me. Mm, 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 mm. You want to talk about growth? That one right there shit most us down for days. Like, Lord, help me. I know I need some glory to glory and some victory to victory. But what is impossible for us with most high, all things are possible. That's where his grace comes in to suffer without complaining or becoming annoyed Woo! Mm, mm, mm. to continue doing something despite difficulties. Yes, yes, yes. Let me tell you. Ooh, look. Mm, mm, mm. When Ezra and them, when they went in to build up the walls of the temple, you see, we get deeper understandings about the spiritual awakenings because there were others who were opposing them. There were people who wanted to stop the work. There are people right now. Remember now, we are not wrestling against flesh and blood. It's spiritual warfare. And as they carried hammers and weapons on one side and building, trying to build the temple up and the walls on another side, they were getting revelations about the grace that the most high had put upon them. Mm, mm. The ability to wait or to continue doing something despite woo, mm, 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 difficulties. There are people that all they want to do is stop you. That's all they want to do. They have no dream. If they had a dream, they don't believe in the dream. They don't believe or trust enough to keep going. So they focus on other people and they want to be part of the teardown. But what they don't understand is it's tearing down all attitudes, all understandings in us. It's actually making room for the build up. Again, beloved, mm, 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 a time to break down. There are things in us, each and every one of us, that need to be broken down in order, in order to hit that time to build up their old attitudes, old behaviors, people. They got to be broken down. You can't clean until you remove, destroy. It, it ends up being a big old mess. Right now, the work, it's dust. It's stuff everywhere. They done, it, I'm going through the time to break down. But what it took me to is a time of patience. And if I didn't think it was difficult enough, watching this woman come out screaming and cussing, just stopping the ground, ranting and raving. And the thing that really caught my attention was not just her screaming and hollering. It was the grace the most I put on me that was his peace he gives, not the peace like the world gives. Mm -mm. No, mm -mm. it's like, no, Vada, I got you in this. I'm covering you in the shadow of my wings because let's not tell a lie. Under certain circumstances, I respond. I respond. But he had me in another place. I was already in the breakdown. I was already in the, it's dust and dirt and, and just I'm talking on the inside of my house. I was trying to get to and the time to build up. That's I'm trying to get everything out of their way so they can build it up. But what I did not understand 
You see, the most high, the word of the Lord is quick and powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword. Two edges, two edges. Woo, let's look at, listen, them two edges. Like, no, 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 no. See, when I tell you about a time to break down, it's not just the physical house that the most high is working on. I'm going to break down certain attitudes. I'm going to break down certain insights. I'm going to break down certain behaviors that don't serve you anymore. He will remove the old. He has to tear it down, break it up in order to build up. Yes, he does, beloved. Many of us. Woo, let me tell you. Mm -mm -mm. Woo, let me tell you. Come on now. There is also, I'm going down to verse seven. Lord, have mercy. And I'm going into the second verse of it. A time to keep silence and a time to speak. There are situations where under normal conditions, we would just spare the Lord, the grace. Uh -uh. Keep silent. This individual is revealing something about themselves to you that you may not have known. You need to be silent so you can hear her, not just what she's saying, the spirit of where she's coming from. Mm, a time to keep silent, beloved, so you can hear. Mm, and a time to speak. Yes, Jesus. There are times we may not want to be quiet, but it's wow. Because there's revelation. And in order to keep silent, we got to go back. Come on now. There's that patience. Patience that we know is the grace of the most high. It's, it's master at work. Because uh -uh, uh -uh, we did. lying will not do this one. The truth will. Patience is a quality. Many of us, it's still refining. We're still, we're work in the potter's hand. We, we, we're his clay. And many times we don't even know the potter's grade do a job on us. We think, well, I'm moving along. I'm pretty good right now. Mm -mm, I got you in the potter's hands. Patience, the ability to wait oh, mm, mm, mm. or to continue doing something despite difficulties. Come on. You want to be refined? There you go. Or to continue doing something despite difficulties or to suffer without complaining or becoming annoyed. I was amazed. I knew all praise, all glory to the most high. I know my father's spirit. I know when it's his hands on a situation, like I'm walking away, like I'm witnessing something going, I know that wasn't me alone. I know it. Because at a different time and a different day and a different place, I would have responded differently. And because I was already under pressure, because there's no kitchen, there's just a hollow room, although they're coming in to fix it. Huh, that was the most high. That was him. The ability to wait woo, or continue doing something despite difficulties. I'm just moving the vehicles out of the way to get the trucks and, and sheetrock and all of that stuff space to get in. Praying, Lord, please let this hurry up because it started out bad. It got worse. And now it, 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 it's looking like the buildup. But what I didn't understand. A time to break down. See, he has to break down attitudes in us, behaviors in us. He has to break down the truth to us and a time to build up. I ended up with revelations about who will help versus who didn't help. People that I really thought didn't care were helping. And I'm amazed. It's like that breakdown. I'm going to open your eyes to there are people that know you don't even have anything to cook with right now. And they brought you help. And it's a revelation. It's a growth. It's taking you to a higher land, a higher, a higher understanding. 
okay? And a time to build up. He builds us up towards one another. Most of all, he builds us up in our love and our reliance and our glorious praise of him. We know. Okay, it's easy. I'm telling you the truth hmm. to talk about the mercies of the Lord when we're not going through anything. Although those unseen mercies are just as powerful as the ones we know about. But let me tell you, sometimes mm, a time to keep silent and a time to speak. Yes, yes, yes. Woo, woo, woo. Mm, mm, mm. Let me tell you. Yes, a time to break down. He breaks down our old attitudes, breaks down old habits. He tears out things that are no longer viable in our lives, and he does it through patience. Right now, beloved, we are waiting for the second exodus. We're waiting for that sign. We're waiting for the end of the matter. But you see, we're in a time to break down for one group. He's breaking it down for one group so that we can hit a time to build up for another. We watch this system. It's breaking down and we get revelations in the midst of the breakdown where one is breaking down. Another is building up. And we end up realizing no weapon formed against us is going to prosper. No, not this time, not this time. But there's a breakdown. And being in the midst of it, in the midst, because we are in the heart of it, it calls for patience. It calls for trust. It calls for understanding. There is a spiritual warfare going on. It shows demonic possession of some people. I mean, true demonic. You witness it. A demon coming out. The same woman that for whatever reason was going on with her that morning and chose to come out there and just go crazy. The very next couple of days, she's all sheepish. And, and I'm thinking, you know, I truly believe. And I said it. You know, I think a demon has you. And she's ranting and raising and screaming and hollering, telling people where they can and can't park, which she doesn't have the right to. Not to mention she has a driveway that her cars can fit easily into. But you see, some things need to be broken down to people. They need to be broken down. You can't just give them one part. It's, it's a time to break down things, okay, to the minute detail okay when we look at verse six a time to get there are things we get in our lives and for that season they are working but then there comes a time to lose yes beloved yes 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 there are things given to us that over a period of time they don't serve anymore and we lose them some things we don't want to lose and we feel like Something's being taken away, but that's a time in our lives. We go into a time to keep mm, 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 when we do that deep cleanup. And we have to, it's like the sheep on the right and the goats on the left. There's a time to keep and a time to cast away. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yes, it is, beloved. Yes, it is. Patience. Patience. The ability to wait or continue doing something despite difficulties or to suffer without complaining or becoming annoyed. That's a powerful piece of business. That's a powerful piece of business. Patience. And yes, my love, it's a quality. Many of us find ourselves being refined. He's growing us. There is no, we haven't plateaued. Some of us think we have, but mm -mm. the most high is like, okay, now let me move you up. We are not just working on physical buildings. We're working on your spiritual house. We're working on your mental house. We're working on your responses, beloved. Patience. Okay. And we're in the middle of a spiritual warfare. 
We're in the middle of it. And that's where that patience has to work to keep you balanced in your manner of response and your thinking and your actions and your reactions. We're at the end of the matter. But you see, while we watch this thing being torn down, see, there's a breakdown. Everything we're used to is vanishing. In order to get to a time to build up. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yes, yes, yes. Right now, things are waxing in many cases worse. People are getting colder. They're self-centered. But that's the breakdown. That's that separation. Those things that you keep. And those things that you cast away and there's revelations in the midst of it. A lot of times we're looking for that, that, that salvation before the storm. But to let you know the power of whom we serve, our master, he controls the winds, the rain, the fire and the water. He comes right in the midst of it and brings his beloved out. And time. Remember, and except those days should be shortened, there should be no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. We're in it, beloved. Except those days should be shortened, there should no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. And in the midst, we're back to patience, the ability to wait or to continue doing something despite difficulties, despite difficulties, or to suffer without complaining or becoming annoyed. There is a refining fire in patience, particularly patience you don't want to have. You didn't even know you had. It grows you. It gives you revelation. Not just about other people, about yourself. All the while realizing that the grace and mercy of the Most High is upon you. Recognizing that there is a growth that we didn't even know we needed. We didn't know we were having. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego in that fiery furnace. Many people being drugged to the fire. I'm telling you, seeing that fire waiting would expect the most high to save them before they went into that furnace. But that patience for the most high to allow the storm to come in. And it's raging, it's raging, beloved, it's raging. And he's with us all the way into the mouth of the furnace, all the way into the belly of the furnace to show us, to grow us, to bring us closer to him, to take us on a journey we didn't even know we had begun. And who does he use? Whoa, here it is. The one who's under some other spiritual dominion, some demonic dominion. He uses everybody, the whole crowd, thinking they're going to see a spectacle, using you as a spectacle. He turns that situation around. They get ready to see the power of the Most High. They get ready to see our master at work. Many of us, Walking to the mouth of that fiery furnace like Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego would have been calling out. I would have thinking he's going to come before the flames and the heat get too close. But in the midst of the storm, he came in to that furnace and cooled those flames and changed everybody around all that witnessed saw the power of the most high patience 
the ability to wait or to continue doing something despite difficulties. Many of us would have thought he'd abandoned us. It's over. I'm going to die. Mm -mm. The ability to wait or to continue doing something despite difficulties or to suffer without complaining or becoming annoyed. Whew. Patience, beloved, in the midst of a storm. Why? Because he's breaking down certain mindsets, not just in us, in others. And building up truth, his truth, his power, his glory. That is beyond anything we could ever hope or imagine. But in the midst of it, patience is what we need to have. That's the word, patience. There is a time, beloved. There is a time. Just like Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. They may have thought the time would have been before they went into the mouth of that furnace. No. But there is a time. Patience. In the middle of storms, sometimes when he tells us, keep silent. Keep silent. There's a time to be silent. Why? Because you need to hear everything that our master's saying, that he's teaching, that he's doing. You keep silent. Now there's a time to speak. Now. Why? Because in the midst of your test, when you were silent, by the time the most high, our father, our master, the glorious Elohim, was done now in the midst of that test where I told you to be silent. When it was all done, I gave you a testimony. Now it's time to speak, beloved. There are times in our lives when we've got to watch things be torn down in us, in the events around us, and it goes far beyond what we thought of. In order for the most high to build up, there are times when we have to hold our peace. Mm. We have to hold our peace in order to see correctly, in order to hear correctly. And no, you realize this is not me doing this. This is master. It's him. It's his grace that's keeping us mm. quiet. I want you to hear what they're saying to you. I want you to hear not just with your physical ear, with your spiritual ear. Listen. So that once you speak, the truth is coming through you. It's a testimony for others as well as yourself about the power and the glory of the God of God who is Yah all by himself alone. He will come that patience in the midst of a storm. You see that runaway freight train coming right at you and you think it snatched me. I'm going to show you the difference between the way a man or a person thinks and the way I operate. And I'm drawing you closer because now after I broke down all your illusions, all your determinations about who you think I am, now I'm going to build you up to who I really am and what I'm capable of. In the midst of our sins, when we think we're so filled and guilty with it that he done left me. No. His mercy, his grace. Woo! Today, Father, on this glorious Sabbath, we give you praise, honor, and glory for thy mercy and thy grace without which we would all be doomed. Yes, we would. We thank you for unseen mercies. Yes, we do. We thank you that you're taking us from glory to glory and victory to victory because there is a season and we're in it where you have to break down those things in us that no longer serve your purpose and your will in order that you can build up this house of Yasharel 
that belongs to you. And we have to know when to keep silent in the midst of the test so that once we speak, we give the testimony and honor and glory of you, Father. Thanksgiving always for your grace and mercy, repenting of our sins, asking for the mercy of our nation and all who believe in you and follow your law, statutes, and commands. This day, we give you thanks, Father, for breaking down, for building up, for keeping silent and knowing when to speak. And let us always let our mouth be filled with praise and thanksgiving for you, Master. Praise and thanksgiving for you as we ask for mercy as you bring your beloved home. In the mighty name of Yeshua HaMashiach. Thank you, Father. Glory, hallelujah. In the mighty name of Yeshua. Recognizing the Ruach HaKadosh and the anointing upon us. Amen. Beloved, patience. The ability to wait or to continue doing something despite difficulties or to suffer without complaining or becoming annoyed. Patience. That'll keep us all busy. That'll keep us all busy. As we love, honor, and glorify our master. And wait. Because it will surely come. It shall not tarry. A word, beloved. Shalom. Shalom.